Good day, everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Adibola Ademiji. If you are just seeing my video for the first time, I post about scholarship information. So today I'll be sharing with us website where you can find excellent SOPs. For you that are not familiar with SOPs, SOPs uh, basically means statement of purpose. Like you already know, this particular document is very essential for our application, especially into the United States. Of course, there are other countries that also um, tell us to write this um, essay called Statement of Purpose. Of course, they can actually change the name to something like motivational letter or cover letter or even personal statement. So without further ado, I'm going to be sharing you a particular website that is dedicated for this type of um, document. And of course, they are written by PhD applicants into the United States, specifically students that are permanent residents in the United States or Canada, as well as citizens of the United States. So without further ado, let's get started. So this particular website uh, is made by Alex Lang. I think this person um, <clears throat> is a US citizen. So this, this all from his experience, he tried to like um, dedicate his website into uh, bringing together application document of people that apply into the National Science Foundation Fellowship. So this fellowship is uh, specifically for US citizen, US national or permanent resident of the United States. So they can, probably be a graduating senior in college or probably they are first or second year um, student um, in the US graduate schools. So um, majorly the fellowship is really quite competitive and also it has good reward. The applicant can benefit up to like 34,000 uh, fellowship by year, up to three years. So without further ado, let's try to navigate into what we are here for. So when you scroll down to the website, you will see in the last section of the website, a Google Drive link that contains the document of the applicant. You can see it, I think the current year is um, 2022. When you try to scroll down, you will see it started around 2006. So for you to know that this website is really very good. Um, yeah, so if I click this link, it will take me to the um, Google Drive page. And here you have the proposal document. You can try to go around this yes response. You have beside uh, the proposal column, the personal statement column. So you can try to go around the yes. And when you click, it will take you to the document basically. Yeah, majorly what we are interested in is in the personal statement section and it covers different areas of studies. We have like you know, psychology, civil engineering, ecology, mechanical engineering, linguistics, geosciences, chemical engineering, physics, economics. And yeah, basically um, all field of study. For instance, if I'm interested in applying into a mechanical engineering program, I can just go to this section, click on this um, essay, then I try to read. So because the reason why I'm sharing this type of information is for you to have a glimpse of uh, the way in which people try to communicate their experiences. So that would give you like a tip in which when you're trying to draft your own essay or your own motivation letter or your personal statement, it will give you a glimpse in which you have to draft it. Of course, there's a caveat. You have to be careful. I'm not saying you should come here to start copying people's experiences or people's essay, no. But this will give you some kind of in, in which you can try to express yourself. You can try to see how people try to develop their motivation to pursue graduate school research. So maybe from their um, undergraduate experience, it could be something that happened during their childhood. So this sort of thing, um, try to motivate people 
in order to pursue a graduate research career. So I think when you try to scroll down, the essays are usually developed into several sections like background. They try to introduce themselves. It could uh, move on into intellectual merit. So yeah, basically in the background section, they tell them to explain their they can explain their family, their uh, educational background, their research experience. So they can they explain all these experiences. Probably they had like internship in companies, in research labs, they explain all this. So intellectual merit. So basically what they have done, or probably how their background have shaped the person in which they are currently or majorly their yeah, proposed research um, objective or something like that. So that is what they try to do. So I think by trying to go through all these essays, and it is not just an essay for mechanical engineering. There are several examples of these essays for mechanical engineering. You can see that for this particular applicant, it's under mechanical engineering. We have another mechanical engineering, uh, jet another one. You see, there are a lot of them. So you can just try to download them and try to compare you know, between these applicants in the way in which they communicate their idea. Of course, you also have the broader impact, okay, apart from aside academic, what are the other things they try to do uh, in their free time and something like that, it's particularly relating to community service or volunteering uh, experience. Also, in terms of future goals, so you see the way in which they communicate the idea. So I think this is where I'll be drawing the curtain. If you have any questions or comments, make sure you drop it in the comment section. Of course, I'll be dropping the link to this particular um, Google Drive, so it is free. So of course, you can as well search on Google yourself, Alex Lang website. And it will take you, when you scroll down to the last section of the page, you will be able to see the Google Drive link. In the description of this video, I will also be dropping the link. So this is where I'll be drawing the curtain. Ensure you share this video and like and subscribe. See you guys very soon.